you increase the blood flow by 10%, yeah. you'll nearly double the sensation. And with a proper setup, you can do uh, 25 of these a day within a year. It's viable and strictly therapeutic. You sure there'd be this kind of demand for them? Are you kidding? It's a gold mine. It's the same setup as a hernia clinic. You just in, out, snip, tuck. It's no big deal, no added cost. It's just a simple bypass. You've uh, used these Teflon arteries before. Yeah. You'd be better off with an organic graft, wouldn't you? What do you think, Harry? Have well, you done anything with the lab animals? Yeah. There's nothing here. What do you think? Is it ethical? Hey, the plane's here. You guys ready? Mickey Mouse question was that. Jesus Christ. He's tired, DJ. He's been laying numbers like that since he got here yesterday. What the hell's wrong with him? He's tired. Well, that doesn't give him the right to treat me like shit. Hey, I mean, Donnie, take if it there it is a demand it for it, what the hell's wrong with filling it? You know, you might be able to franchise this. What? This operation. You need a name for it if you're going to sell franchises. Something catchy, yet tasteful. Well, yeah. a lot too tasteful. I mean, after all, you want to sell the thing. Yeah, how, how are you going to advertise a little thing like this without offending public decency? Well, it's a word of mouth kind of thing. It'll sell. Don't worry, it'll sell. Are you really sure? Sure, I'm sure. Listen, who wouldn't pay for a bigger dick? We're none of us angels. You haven't seen the man since last year. Take it easy on him. He went to a lot of trouble organizing this thing. You thought about the offer yet? What? The Institute. Come in with us, Harry. That way, at least, I'll get to see your ugly puss once in a while. I never see you anymore. No one sees you anymore. Look, we've been all over this before. Lakeview lets me run neurology my way, and that's the way I like it. So don't start. Who's starting? Who's starting? If you want to work your guts out for peanuts, be my guest. But let me point out a few things to you, sir. A. Lakeview is a well-known snake pit, not fit for human habitation. B. You're a first-class surgeon. C. They need you. D. One of these mornings you're going to wake up needing them, and then F. They've got you by the balls. And what do you got to show for it? A lot of worthless glory. Those bastards at Lakeview don't give a damn if you burn yourself out, Harry. They'll just get another genius with an inflated ego and burn him out. I'll take my chances. Like Marty? He cracked up doing what you're doing. Marty had other problems. He was one of the best surgeons I ever saw. He still is. He's a juice artist, Harry. A juice artist. About all he does these days is reduce hernias and sign death certificates at that steel mill he works well, at. Well, at least he tried. Now, where did you, uh, how far you say it is from here to the rim again? Cauldron? Yeah. Oh, mile, mile and a quarter. Stay west of this ridge. What about black flies? Good. Uh, DJ? Yeah? You didn't tell us it was black fly season. Oh, for Christ's sake, Abel, they are just little black flies. Well, are there many of them? Millions. Golly. Help the you want to know why we can't land on the river itself? What's that? The river. Why can't we land on it? Because there's not enough water. Because there's not enough water. There's not enough water. We are 225 air miles from the nearest cat house. And there ain't a damn place to land except two piss holes on the rim of the cauldron. That's one hell of a trek you fellas have got yourself headed on. It's only 15 miles. Yeah, 15 miles of loon shit, bear shit, moose shit, and every other kind of shit shit. <laughs> that river's in the middle of the cauldron, and the cauldron's in the middle of nowhere. Pretty damn handy. We're indispensable. Don't worry, 
put out, isn't it? Hey, look, I, uh... days from today, around noon. See you then. Good fishing. How about the same place in the house? Once a year. the cauldron of the moon. See, the Indians believed the moon bumped into the earth here made this huge imprint called the cauldron. What were the Indians on, Peyote? Doesn't look as if, the, as if the moon bumped into the earth to me. Okay, now hold it. And to the Indians, this whole area is big medicine. Well, here we are. Five little medicines. On their way into one big one. Okay, now stand by. Is this a take? That's yeah, a take. Terrific. Cheese! Very intrepid. Thank you. Kiss off. DJ? Yeah. I did that again, I didn't get a shot of it. Watch it. Oh, Christ. Watch the watch. Too late for that. I got my Oh, Jesus. To the left. Jesus. Of where you went? Shower. <laughs> Nothing shallow. Did you watch? Tell ya. Fuck! Fuck, you lost me here! Ah! Wait a minute. Ah! Watch it. Watch the log. Give me that. Give me that. You okay? Give me that. Oh, shit. Is deep here? Yeah, it's deep. Watch your camera, will you? <laughs> oh, shit! Hold the camera! Hold the camera! What a quake! Where's your tripod? Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take my camera. All right, you guys take the camera. I can, I can handle it. Nice. <laughs> I can handle it. Hand me the camera. Take my binoculars. Okay. All right. Let's look. Ta da! <laughs> What was the name of that dive in Puerto Rico you took us to last year? Mm. It wasn't a dive. Oh, come on, Abel. They were pissing mm. in the streets. Well, that's because they drink the water. <laughs> Why does that make sense? Whose turn is it next year? Mine. And where are you taking us, Marty? 
After this, there's only one place left. Delphi. <laughs> Where's the bloody campsite? It's all bush here. We clear the bush. We clear the bush? We clear the bush. And then what? Then we eat. Then we sleep. That's it? What did you expect, Martin? Dancing? It'd be funny. Bob's report said sarcoma. The X-ray said sarcoma. What the hell was I supposed to do? What did the kids say? What do you mean, what the kids say? The kid was prepped and under by the time I got there. Every legend has its origin. You've never seen him before? No. Wouldn't that be funny? This place really is a magic place. What do you mean funny? If the moon did bump into the earth here, I'm not saying it did, uh -huh. but if it did, then this place really is magic. Theory's got no middle. It does? It doesn't. It's got a beginning and it's got an end, but it's got no middle. Yeah, but in this theory, the beginning and the end overlap. And that's the middle. Sometimes 15 operations a day. I'm just trying to make a living. What the hell is wrong with that? What's wrong with making sure? Why are they yelling? We all make mistakes. Give us a break, will you? We work with people who make mistakes. Here! Gee! So why don't we put all our mistakes together and see if we can't get a rebate on our premiums? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Let's just say people... And what rough beast... It's all come around at last. Sludge is towards Bethlehem to be born. We'd have. What's Yates? What's Yates got to do with the moon? The moon is magic, right? I suppose. And Yates is in the in the magic. God damn it, you're a self-righteous bastard sometimes. You find nothing wrong with his procedure? Tell us about some of the basket cases you keep going, Harry. Oh, come on. No, really, I'm fascinated. When they wake up uh, blind or paralyzed, does Harry sometimes wonder if maybe he shaved off just a little more brain than he should have? You, I mean, I've, wait a minute, I've seen some of the wonders you keep going. 90% plumbing, 10% human. What the hell does a man have to turn into before you call it quits? You think I should pull a few plugs? Oh, hell no. If you want to see how long you can keep them going, that's your business. See? My theory <laughs> doesn't work. No, it doesn't. The world lost a great clown when you gave up neurology. Why is it all pediatricians suffer from premature senility? <laughs> I think it's the kids. <laughs> Mother of 
pearl. Say, Abel, you'll scare the fish. What fish? Well, if you use your wrist, you might catch one. With the wrist. Always with the wrist. With the wrist. <laughs> I said use your wrist. Where are the boots, you guys? I'm using my wrist already. They're by the fire, I think. You're using your elbow. I can live with it, DJ. I can live with it. They're not, you know. What's he yelling about? His boots. He can't find his boots. They're by the fire. I told him that. They're not here. Check the tent. I'll check the tent. Boots are here. Where are you going? To help him look for the boots. Take the bottle away from them while you're at ah, it. Ah, shut. Hey, everybody's boots are gone. Sure, they're gone. I'm telling you, DJ, I'm not kidding you. They're not here. Well, where'd we leave them? Where'd we leave them? I don't know. They're not here now. Well, they must be here somewhere. No, I've looked everywhere. They're not here. No, I, I looked in the tents. I checked the woods. They're not here. Is anything else gone? I don't think so. It's just the boots. Have you found them yet? No! Somebody has stolen the goddamn boots! Why would anyone steal five pairs of boots? Because they're worth 40 bucks a pair. There's a lot of other stuff around here that's worth much more. Maybe whoever stole them is a boot freak. I don't know. Don't you think we should discuss this a little? Discuss what? The alternatives. What alternatives? You figure maybe the bastard who stole them is going to bring them back? Start a bonfire. This area must be air patrolled. A plane can't land on the river. Look, we've got maybe 12 hours of daylight left. If I leave now, I can make that dam by tonight. A helicopter can get in here. They charge you for silly rescues, Mitzi. And if you start a forest fire, they throw away the key. We're sitting in the middle of a tinderbox, and you want to burn it down for a lousy five pair of boots? Jesus Christ, you know all the goddamn answers. Well, this dam's 27 miles upriver, and the lake's only 15. What do you want me to do there, Abel? Grow roots for six days? Look, just let me take care of it, okay? DJ, I just don't know what the rush is. I just told you. Besides, six days of you clowns hobbling around and bitching. Who needs that? How do you know there'll be anybody at that dam? They don't put beaver dams on government maps, Harry. It's a hydro dam, and operations that big don't run themselves. There'll be someone there. Well, I sure hope they have boots. I don't like the idea of you going up the river alone. 
I wouldn't have to go up the river alone if you clowns had brought extra shoes. We wouldn't be in this jackpot. Get off it, DJ. Look! Two months ago, I sent everyone Xerox sheets of what I would supply and what you were to bring. You were to bring extra shoes and your toothbrushes. I supplied everything else. I had everything organized. All you had to do was follow orders. Heil! Dich heil! What Xerox sheet? You know, Abel, there are people who for as little as $50 will break both a man's legs. Gee, that's terrible. put that there, don't you? I don't know who put that. Oh, come on, take it easy. Look, Harry, somebody's playing a very sick game with us, and I want to know who, and I want to know why before it gets into goddamn sick. My brother doesn't do anything like that. He's pumping amphetamines. He's only playing with him. What else does he play with? My brother's done a lot of things, but he wouldn't do this. I'll take your word for it. What are you doing, Marty? I'm going up river after him. It's too dark. I don't give a shit. DJ's at the damn white on us. How do you know that? He's out there alone, you know. We know that. He did not do that. No one said he didn't have such a goddamn mouth. Where are my boots, God damn it? Where are my boots? They were stolen this morning. Hey, Mitzi. This animal has only been dead for a couple of hours. The blood is almost fresh. We'll find DJ in the morning, Marty, when it's light. As soon as it's light. Do we have anything we can use as a weapon, Harry? Just the hatchet. God. Be almost childish if it weren't so horrible. <laughs> Just over one mile. I've been counting. Counting what? My steps. We should get back to the river. We might have passed him. We won't pass him. 
Right here. Uh, move a little closer. Why do you want this now, Abel? For Sheila and the kids. Oh, God. How old are they now, anyway? Uh, one's 11, one's 12, and uh, I don't know how old the other one is. Do you know its name? Oh, sure. Uh, uh, try and look like you're enjoying yourselves. I feel like one of the goddamn monkeys. See no evil? Hear no evil? Speak no evil. Oh, I like it. Today, evil, today. <laughs> Dead, Martin. <laughs> Marty's dead. Marty, who was up there? What? Who was it, Marty? Was was someone up there? I heard him yell, DJ, Harry. Marty? Hey, was somebody up there? Yes, but it wasn't DJ. Why'd you yell his name? It wasn't DJ, Harry. I swear it wasn't DJ. You don't seem too sure about that. I'm sure, gosh damn it. What do you want me to say? I'm sure. People's dead, Harry. We're just... Just... Just trying to find out what happened. Look, has got a damn man. That's what happened. Or someone broke it for him. Was it a man? Huh? I don't know. It was just... Just a movement. Those bees were no accident, Harry. They were no accident. You should have waited. What about my brother? 
If you'd have waited, Abel would still be alive. Shh, waited for what? Waited for help. We're in the middle of nowhere, Mitzi. No one's gonna help us. Maybe we should go back. <laughs> to what? To the goddamn campsite. Well, what about... Better still go back to the... to the lake. Well, what about DJ? DJ can take care of himself. We'd never make it back to the lake. <laughs> so we don't have a compass. In that bush, we'd be walking in circles in half an hour. And let's stay here. God damn it, Harry. We start a goddamn fire. Something we should have done yesterday. There's three of us. We can fight them. Jesus Christ, Mitzi. Fight who? We don't know if it's one man or ten. What the hell do we do? We keep going till we reach the dam. Get the hell out of here as fast as we can. You're such a boob. Such a gentle boob. Well, couldn't we say something? Say what? He's dead. Halfway there. Halfway. Terrific. Come on. He's not going to make it any further. Better find a place to make camp before it gets dark. Yeah. Take it easy on the sauce, Marty. Shit. Talk to him, Harry. Give me the hatchet. I'll check up ahead. Yeah. Be careful. Ah, Jesus. This must be like coming off a double shift at the steelworks. What do you do there, anyway? Works? Think you're getting into that end of the business? I'm interested. You guys all right? You sit in a small office with a large scales and 80 cartons of industrial safety posters. These DJs, is that words? I'm getting my head in shape. With that? Harry, it wouldn't matter one speck of bug dung if I never picked up a scalpel again. I'm 38 years old. I'm an independent alcoholic. There's now a borderline psychotic teaching karmic fascism in the mountains. Didn't you once say that self-sacrifice was all right, as long as you could pay the rent? Was I drinking at the time? You were never a drinker, were you? Yeah. Four years non-stop in Korea. I can even remember when I gave it up, and why. Why? Because of a bridge over the Yim Jim River. I was drunk and bored at the time. God, was I bored. And I flew under it with an English captain. There's only six inches of clearance between the wingtips and the piers. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? We'll find him, Martin. Don't worry. Like April? Hey, you guys! Look at I found! It's DJ's rope! I found it! What? I almost missed it! There was nothing else here, just the rope! What? Just the rope! That's all, huh? DJ! Why would he tie a rope across here, Harry? Maybe he wanted to use it to pull himself back. Hey, hey, watch it! Watch it! Those rapids look like murder! Hey, Mark! Marty! You can't get across there now! Jesus, they're too 
week. Maybe just across their hearse. For God's sake, let's get over there. For Christ's sake, they're too goddamn drunk. Ah. Hurry! Get ya! Hurry! What's that? Let him go! Get ya! Let him go! All right, asshole, kill yourself! Huh? When we go across, Martin, we do it together. Yeah! Ah. In the morning. I know he's just over there somewhere. <laughs> we'll make a fire, Martin. Huh? Don't worry. DJ will see a fire. I don't think we can risk a fire. It'll be dark soon. What the hell are we going to eat if we don't have a fire? You have to boil this freeze-dried shit. You want to risk a fire? All right. What have we got for dindins? Other than this little delicacy. Harry doesn't want a fire, so we'll see what we can eat. That's no good. Oh, that's no good. No good. Rice, no good. Ah, powdered milk. Rip. Rip. And in here, what have we got in Marty's pack? No, oh, mine's no good to you. Scotch. Toilet paper. I see you came prepared. Anyone for dates and powdered milk? Well, I guess there are worse things in life than powdered milk, I suppose. Over here, DJ. There's a flashlight. Not the flashlight. It's so loud, it's crazy. Crazy. Anything? Uh, where are you, DJ? Oh, my God. 
Where's the first aid kit? With my pack in the river. Get a sleeping bag around him. Oh. My buddies. The tibia and the tibia. What's happening to the artery? Make sure the artery's all right. The artery's all right. Give me a drink. You're still in shock. I need a drink! Hurry! He changed this! The river was full of animal traps. DJ didn't do it. It's like a minefield out there. Who then? Why? Why is it happening to us? God! God! God damn you! A lot of very careful hatred has gone into this thing. And all I'm saying is that if any one of us, if any one of us knows something that he should tell the others, now's the time. Goody, 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 goody. I think my jolly self incrimination. We're doctors, Marty. It's not inconceivable that one of our mistakes is a reason for all of this. Shall we start with our own mistakes? All the mistakes we helped with, all the mistakes we participated, how about just our worst mistakes, our very worst, best mistakes? After all, we don't want the proceedings to turn into a witch hunt. It's a simple question. All you have to say is no. I'll take your word for it. Let's see, Chet, stop! It's possible we're all paying for something one of us is responsible for. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Yeah, but it's one hell of an assumption. And tell me, Harry, what in God's name this clown is after? You think it's theft? We're getting drunk, Mitzi. Spare me the temperance lecture, Harry. Martin's the one who's supposed to be getting drunk. Just because your old man was a juicer, Harry, doesn't make the rest of us candidates for Skid Row. I know what I'm doing. Hey. After you'd found out which one of us it was, were you going to throw the rascal to the wolves for the sake of the team? You bet, old buddy. How are we going to move him, Harry? Build a stretcher. Stretch. There's going to be murder carrying him in his ship. Why don't we float him? Now. Do it now. Better drink the rest of that. Uh, drunk enough. You sure? Ah, uh, What difference is it going to make? Okay, hold it. Okay, easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you... Goddamn asshole! Do you want to do the honors? Which way do you want your instep? Facing front. Be gentle. It was your idea. So mad. Oh, so tame. Christ's sake. Stop mentioning him, you, a doper. You're a hero, Alex. Maybe. Maybe it was just a speed what? freak. Anyway, he told me once how to train a chimpanzee. Salute. What you do is you chain a chimpanzee at the end of a large tent or, or a large hall, it doesn't matter. And at the other Sorry, end you chain wait. a dog or a cat or an armadillo. Now, this is very interesting. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So then you let the people in. 
all the people who want to advance the education right. of the chimpanzee. But they ignore the chimp and they concentrate on the dog. Now they circle around the dog and shout salute. The dog just stands there looking like a dog. Whatever, so they break his hairy little leg. In. Break a doggy's bone, this old man goes floating home. Knick knack, fatty black. Break a doggy's bone, this old man goes floating home. I'm jumping now to day two. Day two dawns. No! And again. Not that rock. In. Circle around. Back or the armadillo. Salute. Thing. Bang. Break another leg. Okay, now that going. goes on for three or four days. Not much longer. The chimp, I need hard to remind you, is watching all this very carefully. Rocky's in standing, you know. He's just lying there. How oh, many? I can't hear him. Thanks. Oh, I gotta get my light. I'm at the worst thing. You make up your mind. and they beat the little bugger to death. Before you can match the whole holy Mexican cheeses, they're up at the other end of the tent gathering around the chimp. Ah! The clubs up in the air, and what are they saying? Salute! Salute! Oh, it works. What it requires is a little patience. Right! Sake. It's my last one. Thanks. Fuck. We're setting ducks down here. Your goddamn brother has bright ideas. Do you really believe there's a madman out there who wants revenge? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. There's a certain kind of un what? unholy precision to this whole thing. Nothing's been left to chance. Our boots were stolen. What are you talking to about? To draw us out. To draw out DJ. My leg was broken to slow us down. How do you know that? Rapids. Rope. Traps. It all seemed to come together at the same time. That rope was put there to draw us across. The stag's head. The Shut snake. up! Patient. Precision. No, the Hurry. ceremony. Hurry. Hurry. The ceremony. Hurry. Drawn deeper and deeper I said lay out. into a kind of demonic ritual. Hey! We're being used. And this thing, which is summoning hey, up its forces, we can get knows that if it performs certain acts Where in a certain order, certain what? other things are bound to happen. I'm not going up there, And then he knows he really has us. And you? at some time in this there. world, the people will open their eyes back. and be appeased with happy no, no. What's going on here? Well, I was just invoking a wee bit of the old demon for old bits here. Shut up! Hey, Mitzi! What the hell's going on? Bastards! I've been beaten up in toilets by better men I than you! I still shut up! Jesus Christ! You son of a bitch! I busted my ass all day for that little faggot! And he turns around and plays head games with me! <laughs> well, here's a head game for you! Carry your own carcass out of here! How quickly we forget our manners, eh, Mitzi? Shut up! The both of you! Don't tell me to shut up, Harry! You owe me! I owe you nothing! I buried your old man when you were busy kissing ass! Don't forget it! I'm warning you! No, no, no! I'm sorry! In this gearbox, but you let your old man die in a goddamn ah! car! You shit! Hey, 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 you guys! Hey, you guys, stop! I'm losing grip here! Hey, you guys, stop! Hurry! Hurry! 
unconscious? Still responding to external stimulus. Partial dilation in the left pupil, but he's, he's responding. I don't understand this fever. Looks like endotoxic shock. Nice, Mitzi. The I leg didn't say it was. I said it looked like it. I think it's a subdural hematoma. Let's hope it's that. Marty. Martin. Uh -huh. Don't leave me. I'm sorry I said what I said about your old man. Who cares? I'm trying to apologize, Harry. Can't you accept that? I'll take it into consideration. Don't be too proud, Harry. We still need each other. Poor old Andy. You should have seen the shithole he was living in. I saw it. it. Took them a week to find the body. Sitting on the toilet in his room. So we wouldn't leave a mess for anyone to clean up. He wasn't that different from my old man. Never met my old man, did you, Harry? Just a couple of silly old dreamers who couldn't handle the sauce. Hey, remember the time? <laughs> remember the time old I don't man? remember. You never saw him again much after that, did you? I never saw him again. Pacific, in the army in World War II. Leave us alone, you bastards! Maybe we're going in the wrong direction. Jesus Christ, maybe we're going in the wrong direction. No. Where the hell is this, Dan? Can't be far now. I can't even remember how long we've been carrying up this goddamn river. Yeah. Hey, Marty. 
How long have we been carrying up this river? Good. Uh, you been keeping track, Marty? Uh, he doesn't answer. I think he's taking a nap, Harry. Lay off. We got to sign off now, Marty. All right. Now hold. Hold on. Oh, it's safe. Watch it. God, you got to. Oh, God. Why don't you, why don't you watch where you're going? I can't see a goddamn thing back there now. How about letting me take the front for a while? His ass weighs a ton. Shot in his front. Not as much as his ass. Yeah. What difference does it make? It makes a hell of a difference. You try it back there for a while. All right. All right, you take the front. If you think it's, it's so much easier, take it. Now you're being petty. Let's see. If you want to take the front, take the front. It doesn't matter to me. Well, it matters to me. It's a hell of a lot easier when you can see where you're going. Then take the goddamn thing. I will. Now, these poor bastards used to scrounge gasoline from our regiment. We could never figure out what they wanted it for. This is right after the landing at Incheon. <laughs> Each one of these Korean regulars were issued two weeks' rations of rice. But nothing to cook it with, see? Nothing to cook it in. Well, one afternoon, I saw these uh, uh, three of them in a rice patty with a barrel of our gas. Now, they'd reshaped the sides of the patty into a small pond. Most of these rice patties were composed of human and animal waste. So they soaked the sides of the patty with gasoline and lit it. And then they poured the, the rice into the patty water. And when it boiled, they ate. They ate it. <laughs> you had to admire their ingenuity, the poor bastards. You told me this before, Harry. What's the point? Well, the point is either self-evident or there isn't any. Jesus Christ. He's not going to make it, you know. He'll make it. If he lasts the night, are we still going to carry him? What? Don't tell me it hasn't crossed your mind, Harry. That thing out there will come for us. And when it does, we won't be able to do a damn thing to stop it. We'll be too weak. That thing out there is a man, Mitzi. A man! You could have killed him this afternoon when he pinned that goddamn metal on him, Harry. He's not after him, he's after us. He's using him to grind us down. As long as we're carrying him, he has it's just where he wants us. We've got to start thinking like him. He expects us to carry him. He's counting on it. I don't think so. If anything, he wants to see if we'll leave him. He wants to degrade us first. Hasn't he already? Jesus, he hasn't even started. He wants our faces in it. He wants us crawling. When we're dead, who's going to know whether we crawled or not? We will. We'll be the only one. Look, Harry, he'll come after us. He can get him any time he wants. Our only chance is to make a break for it. The sooner we get to the dam, the sooner they'll come back for him. It makes sense. We're the ones he has to worry about now. We can't just leave him here. Now, what bloody difference does it make? Hey, hey, hey leave him alone. For Christ's sake, Harry, he's had it. Even if he survives, what are you going to have? Another vegetable? Let him just wait to see. Why are you doing this, Harry? You're not that soft-hearted. You left your old man. Why not him? It's all lies. You want to risk our lives for that? Bring it up again and I'll smash your goddamn head in. He was a drunk and an asshole and I wrote him off. I made a mistake. I don't need you to remind me. I don't hold it against you, Harry. Yeah. Of course you don't. We've survived a lot together, Harry. We can survive this if we use our heads. If we leave him. 
Who's going to know, Harry? I am. You romantic schmuck. Son of a bitch can kill me. I'd be goddamn if I let him degrade me. I'd be damned if I let him do that. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Hey, this is ready. Army X-ray. I'm paying for something that somebody else did. This was made in 1945. Now we have some idea what we're dealing with. Let's go. I'm not carrying him. I'm not carrying him. I'm not carrying him. He's a vegetable. He'll get us killed. That maniac doesn't want him. He wants us. He'll get us killed. Leave him. Leave him. Stupid bastard. He'll get us killed. I want to live, Harry. I want to live. Get you killed, Harry!
goddamn hero. Goddamn stupid hero. Bastard.
Apache. What is it? Oh, it's traction. Just put him in traction. The medical discharge. Matthew Crowley. Come on. He's dead. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on! He's going to do to us what those army quacks did to him. He's going to butcher us. Come on, help me get him down. Let's just get the hell out of here, Harry. Come on! Oh, Jesus. He's alive? Is he alive? What are you doing, Harry? Come on, let's get out of here for Christ's sake. We can't leave him like this. What are you going to do, Harry? Kill him. You're crazy. You hear me? You're crazy. See? Marty. Uh. 
I can't carry any further. I'll come back for you. I swear. Please. Please. Understand. Oh, Come on, you bastard! 
Mad you! Mad you! Uh, uh, You're blind! Huh? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, Christ. You one of them doctors? Yeah. I tried to stop him. I, I tried. Others. Uh, where are the others? They're dead. I'm sorry. No, it weren't you. It weren't you. What's your name? Jesse. Let me get you on the bed. Here we go. Sorry. Easy now. Safe for you here. My brother ain't the same as us anymore. But he hunts good. And he provides. <coughs> Go. Go, son. Go now. I don't know where to go. Nixie! Nixie! Harry! Oh, God! 
Is that you? Is that you? Where are you? Help me, Harry. I'm hiding from a tree or something. I tied up, Harry. That you? I got a gun. Gun? You've got a gun? Hey, where is he? Below me. Somewhere behind me. Help me, for Christ's sake. Where the hell did you go? I came back for you. Oh, you bastard. I left you there. I swear. Now, come on. Help me. You got a gun? He's, he's not armed. Oh! What? Ah. What, is it? Ah. what the hell is it? Oh, damn it. Answer me! My artery is severed. Missy the popliteal. Jesus Christ! Don't faint! Come on, get him! You've got a gun! Come on, get him! Kill him now! Harry! I'll tie it off for you! Before you bleed to death! Missy! Don't show panic now. Let me help you. Does he speak? Please. Does he understand language? I don't know. Stay calm. Don't panic him. Harry, don't faint. Don't faint. He's behind me, starting a fire. Harry! He's going to burn me. Shoot him. Use the gun. Use the I can't see him! Help me, for Christ's sake, help me! Harry! He's talking! He's trying to say something! What? Repeat it! I can't make it out! Esther! Esther, I think! Jesse! It's his brother! His brother! He's in here! Bring him out, for Christ's sake! What's the matter with you? He wants his brother, Harry. Trade him, Harry. Trade the fucker. Shut up, or I'll leave you there. Okay, all right. Whatever you say. I'm sorry. Just hurry, for Christ's sake, Harry. I swear I wouldn't have left you, Harry. I was coming back. Uh, Harry! Harry! He's bringing more wood for the fire. No! Jesse says no. No fire, or Jesse will die. Get out of here, you bastard! Get out of here, Harry! He's, he's Shut up! Me. Get out of here, you bastard! Very handle Get out of here! Help me! Help me! You son of a bitch! He wants his brother! Get bargaining! I can't hear you! Don't panic. Bring him up! No time. Bring him up! There's no time now! Oh, we're gonna cauterize it. What? We're gonna cauterize it! Cauter How? How? Black powder! What about bird shock? Harry, let me do it! Kill him and I'll fish Shut up! Jesus! <laughs> Harry! Bring him up! Mortis is. Mortis is. You're lying, you cutlass bastard! You're lying! You're killing me, you son of a bitch! You're burning hell if you leave me here! You're killing me! Oh, you're son of a bitch! You're burning hell if you leave me here! You're killing me! Shut up! You're killing me! Just burn him, you don't help me! Shut up! Shut up! Let me talk! Matthew! I'll kill Jesse! He killed your brother! He killed your brother!
Thank you.